Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Wednesday the 27th of June. The local media headlines today. The full implications of the government's decision not to go ahead with the Swansea Tidal Lagoon will probably take a few days at least to become completely clear. But one consequence is immediate. There will be no need to quarry stone from Cornwall to build it. The Falmouth Packet was among those who tried to get the owners of Dean Quarry near St Kevin to explain what happens next. Local campaigners have been warning that large-scale quarrying would damage the marine conservation area. Cornwall Reports covered the efforts of the National Farmers Union to persuade the government that life after Brexit is going to be very tough unless migrant workers continue to harvest fruit and vegetables. The NFU went to Downing Street yesterday to ask for special visa arrangements to ensure there are enough workers to prevent crops rotting in the fields. Pirate FM was among several media to get worked up about the hot weather. The Cornish Times reports news of plans for a visitor centre at the Anthony Woodland Garden. The Buden Stratton Post celebrated the town's lifeboat run. And finally, Cornwall Live reports some real news about a large property deal on the south coast of Cornwall. But inevitably, the headline has to include the word Poldark. And those are the local media headlines today. Thanks very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.